Hello, this is JD from JD Audio, and in no way am I affiliated with Windows or Windows XP from Microsoft. So now that we've completed to uh, record our file onto the computer, then what we will do is we'll get a blank CD as such, a CDR, open up our burner, place it in the burner, then close the CDR, and we're ready for the next step. Okay, step two is to record that file onto a blank CD. So you go to my computer, you find out where that CD is, click on the icon, and the window will open up for that CD. So you open up another window under my computer where you stored that uh, file that we first recorded. And there it is. And then we will drag that file onto the blank CD window as such. And then you'll see instructions on the left hand side up there. You want to try to write these files to the CD. So click on that. You can rename the CD if you want. And let's name it vinyl here. And then we'll hit next. And then you will make an audio CD for standard audio CD players. Hit next. Then probably Windows Media Player will come up, which also comes standard. And then you want to copy that to the CD. So you hit the copy. It's doing its thing. Then it copied it to the CD. So then we can get out of that program and we can verify the CD. Okay, so now that we've completed our CD burning, we will uh, go to the CD, take it out, and we will play it in a player just to verify that our CD works. Let's try it and make sure that it works. Open it up, close the casing, now let's play it. And there you have it, your vinyl is on CD. Well this is JD, saying thanks for watching. Audio engineer and producer for JD Audio.